hello everyone it's me is somebody welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today i'll show you this type of letter logo a and p so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications going to the file and taking new options taking an artboard which is blank and giving the name and after that hit the create button after that going to the circle drawing the circle like this press the shift and hold it and making the circle like this making it into the middle of the artboard and now ctrl c and ctrl f making this one smaller or you can make this one smaller like divided by 1.6 and again divided by 1.6 make sure that the link is selected and hit the enter button divided by 1.6 that's good and now ctrl c and ctrl f making this one bigger actually ctrl c ctrl f and making this one bigger making this one bigger so here is three lines and we should turn off the fill color we have three circles that's good i'll make this one a little bit smaller and making copy like this so this line indicates that those are intersect so how to make this one intersect so go to the view and smart guide should be open or take mark over there and snap to point is on that's good now i'll take this circle and this circle these two circle actually one and two and make another copy by pressing alter option button and when you are getting the intersect indication just leave it and press alter option button and make another copy like this so we got this making it group making it middle of the artboard and ctrl shift g for the ungroup this one now we'll take line so going to the line segment tool here you will get the indication or the like a snap to point or intersect options or pink line press the shift and hold it and draw the line like this and then here as well so press the shift and hold it and draw another line here should be another line press shift and hold it when just draw this one and hover the mouse over there and you will get the intersect line and press the shift and hold it and draw the line like this that's it and now horizontally we will draw the line so how to get there press the shift and hold it draw the line before that you have to make this one this liner intersect otherwise that's not proper in the way so here we have to make this one and this one into proper align with this so making this one group and make this one key pointer or key object and making this one group like this and this one should be as well actually these and this making this one group and making this one proper alignment like this here should be proper alignment of all the stuffs making this one align with that so now all the circle is intersect properly now going to the line segment tool again and now we'll draw the line like this one two the same way intersect or smart guide should be turned on it will help you out to make the line properly hover the mouse and get the pink line and just draw this now select all the stuffs going to the shape builders tool and now we'll draw before that we have another task so this one should be in this intersect so here this one is upper side and this one is the left side now select all the stuffs going to the shape builders tool and now we'll make the shape so black color is selected for this so this portion will select and now we'll leave it and we'll draw this one later this area as well and you can make the shape like that so select this and now like this and we'll just get the line like this that's good this area will left and we'll draw this area select from here draw the line and now like this and it will go to the upper side 
and touch this area that's good and we'll make this one fulfill by using this this portion and this portion with this that's good and we'll leave this area and this area should be selected so here a and p will make this one p later so we got our desired shape over there and now i'm going to the magic one tool select the line in once and delete all the stuffs before that here we leave the area command a and again shape builders tools from here and match the area before that we have to make this one black that's good now magic one tool select the line once and delete all the stops and now turn off the stroke before that select all the stops turn off the stroke and now we'll make this one a and p so here a and p that's good now going to the gradient i'm taking the gradient from here and control command v select this portion i from the color picker select this gradient and this gradient as well we'll make this gradient into different path here we'll cut a pair and this one i and it should be g from the keyboard and you can make this one like that that's fine and this one should be another gradient i from the color picker and select this gradient and make this one 90 degree and you can reverse this one our primary task is done going to this one group this one and taking the background this background should be darker like this so 082044 it could be the color swatch and sending into the back options going to the arrange send to the back and we got our desired logo if you want to change the background color more darker you can do that so our logo is ready and in this portion you can change up all the gradient as you wish so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any sort of questions query or request please do comment in my video comment section until the next video a7 is signing up today stay safe stay healthy keep in your prayers bye bye